You're listening to the IO Soapbox with Aiken. I'm an IO psychologist, which of course means no one knows what I do. Now on this show, we are going to talk about IO psychology. I'm hoping that some of you not in IO will want to join us, and those of you in IO will be inspired to break new ground. Now, let's get me a cup of coffee, because I'm tired, and then it's time for me to rant about random things on my soapbox. So one way to think about IO psychology and the different graduate school options that you might take is to think about it kind of like pieces on a chessboard. By the way, I don't even play chess anymore, so I barely know what I'm talking about, so this should be a lot of fun. If you think that you might want to do a master's degree, it's going to be a different kind of commitment. They're typically, although some are shorter than two years, such as the program that I run here at the University of Maryland, a lot of your master's programs are about two years or two and a half years long. They tend to be course focused rather than research focused. Again, there's a lot of variation in here, but this is typically what you might expect. Now, a master's degree is more like one of these dohickeys. And you know, I don't even know what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's not a bishop. It's like one of those other things, but it like moves this way and that way. Right? Okay. Um, I think you get the point, even though I have no idea what I'm talking about. I warned you about that though. So it's like one of these doohickeys. <laughs> Your master's degree is going to get you a fair amount of flexibility, right? Considered it's a decent piece on the chessboard, right? You can do a lot of movement this way, a lot of movement this way. So your master's degree could be either like a little bit more specialist or more generalist. You're not going to come out of it with the same kind of targeted expertise as a PhD because it's not the design of a master's degree. The design of a master's degree is to give you really strong grounding in being a practitioner in IO psychology, not necessarily an academic researcher. So your PhD has the academic researcher kind of component and your master's degree is typically going to be more practically oriented or coursework oriented. Now, as a result, when you come out with your master's degree, you're going to have some fair flexibility on the board. You're going to be able to move into a number of different practice oriented work contexts. It's largely going to be an applied degree. You're going to get out there, you're going to work in an applied setting, either in like human resources or consulting, like we were talking about before. You are less likely to move into an academic setting with a master's degree. Some universities will uh, take folks with master's degrees as adjunct professors, but it is rare to be able to move into a full-time full professor position with a master's degree. So when you're choosing between a PhD and master's, there are a lot of different things to consider. Your PhDs are going to be more research-oriented, typically, again, variation. Your master's degrees are going to be more applied-oriented. Your PhDs are going to take longer, five, six years plus. Master's degrees are going to be shorter, two, three years but your PhD is going to get you all this access to the board and your master's degree is going to get you good access to the board. A little bit different, but good. Now, if you've already decided, you know what, I'm sold, IO is the field for me, I really do want to get a graduate degree in industrial organizational psychology. Broadly speaking, you're going to have two different types of options. Your first option is going to be your master's program. It is short but potent. It is espresso. And your second um, type of graduate program you might enroll in is a PhD program, and that's much larger coffee. It's going to be longer. It's going to be more painful. It's going to be darker. It's going to be bleaker. <laughs> but it's also going to give you something a little bit different. Um, so how much you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, you want to go into industrial organizational psychology. Yeah, you want to go into a graduate program. But how are you going to choose between a master's program and a PhD program? Let's talk about that for a second. If you've reached the point that you've committed to IO psychology, you know you're passionate about it, that's what you want to do with your life and with your career. You're going to be looking at a variety of different types of master's programs or at PhD programs. Now that's another decision, right? You have to decide. Um, and again, it's a little bit about commitment. If you're not sure that you want to spend that much time in school, your master's degrees are shorter degrees. But of course the distinction goes beyond that as we've discussed. Your master's degrees give you decent access to the board. Right? It's not the same in terms of getting into academia that in PhD is. Your master's degrees are not going to get you into academia in the same way that your PhDs are going to get you into academia. But they will get you into practice, and they will get you into a large number of jobs in practice. Now, there are jobs and there are organizations, even in the applied world, that love the PhD and prefer it a little bit more than the master's degree. 
This is typically going to happen in research-oriented organizations where having that depth of research experience that is assumed to be given at the PhD level is prized. So pay attention to the organizations that you're looking at as well or the kinds of jobs that you're looking into and see if they typically look for PhD credentials, master's credentials, or both. I want to make it clear that I'm not saying that your master's degree is going to be a totally limiting factor. What I am telling you is that master's degrees and PhDs are designed for different purposes. Master's degrees are designed to give you content knowledge and practical skills, applied skills. One of the most impactful IO psychologists I know has a master's degree, does not have a PhD, and has made sweeping changes across a number of organizations. One of my most profound mentors, one of the most successful people that I know. And he hustles, he works hard, right? There is the question of what your degree opens for you, and then the question of what you open for yourself. You can be phenomenally impactful with a master's degree. Yeah, you might not get a full-time professor position, but you can do incredible things in practice if you are willing to work hard and hustle. Hopefully at this point in time, you've at least started asking yourself some questions about what you would want to do in IO if you're ready to commit to either a master's degree or to a PhD. In the next couple of episodes, we're going to go into more detail on what master's degrees are like and how to prepare yourself for them and what PhDs are like and how to prepare yourself for them. Hopefully over the next couple of episodes, if you are excited about getting into a graduate program in industrial organizational psychology, you're going to feel increasingly better equipped to put together a really compelling application package and get yourself the kinds of experiences that will help you land the program of your dreams.